Going to yeah, maybe. Yeah. Right, if you can take your book clips and your pencils, go and stand by the flip chart. Little ones at the front. I suggested to uh, Mrs. Harbeeves and uh, Gregor about uh, doing this sort of project was, I remember being schooled many, many years ago, uh, sitting doing the uh, quadratic equations and uh, doing physics and thinking, I'm never ever going to use this again, so why should I learn it? Now, it wasn't until I went to the crash investigation course at Aberdeen University that I had to start use, using dumb quadratic equations again. But it just shows you that uh, physics and maths is very um, important throughout life. And uh, you just never know what uh, you might have to use later in life from what you learn at this moment in time. So it's important that you take in what you learn just now because you might have to use that later in life. Right, in crashes, crashes happen like that, okay, very, very quickly. Happen when a second. Now, you're all witnesses, okay? What, what happens in crashes is that sometimes we've got good witnesses that explain everything that happens, and sometimes we get poor witnesses. So, my job, a part of my job, is to identify who's a good witness and who's a bad witness. Now, to do that, uh, I need to use the skills that I determine from the physical evidence left at the scene okay, and compare that to the witness statements. Because some people think they've seen something when in actual fact they haven't. Okay. So what they're doing is they're putting two and two together and making five. So they're seeing part of the story and thinking, well, that's what must happen. Mr Steele explained earlier on that uh, he was up in uh, Lanark uh, two years ago and he witnessed a crash which uh, had okay, the pedestrian getting knocked down by the car. Now, Mr Steele was a witness. The police took a statement from Mr Steele, and Mr Steele thought that uh, the pedestrian was coming from the uh, left hand side of the road, crossing over to this side of the road. And when the crash investigators arrived at the scene and saw the damage to the body and the damage to the car, they were able to say that no, 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 that didn't happen. The pedestrian must have been walking from this side of the road to that side of the road. Now, Mr Steele wasn't doing that to go up with the police, but it's called rationalisation. You see something and you make up wee tiny bits of what you think you've seen to try and make the picture fit. Now, the reason for doing the flip chart here is to try and indicate to you if you're a good witness or a bad witness. So what I want you to do just now is write down what symbols and what colours you saw in the flip chart there. I'll give you a minute to do it. I saw blue. A what? I saw blue. A blue. I just saw colour blue. Colour blue, okay, right. Can you see? I saw red, I think. Red. Any symbols at all, anybody see? I saw a pan. A pan? Yeah. Okay. I saw an apple. An apple? Okay. Anybody see more than one thing? Blue moon and square. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, I got a orange blue and a circle that helps me. Sorry, can you hear me? Uh, orange blue and a circle that helps me. Okay. Anybody over here see anything at all? Like a red cross. Yeah. Red cross? Anything else? And that's a green A, a like a water droplet, right. um, a moon, and I'm sure it's a, a star. You could edit video them. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was just I'm when just you lifted it up. <laughs> Aye, good, good. Um, so that, that indicates to you there's six symbols there, okay, that, that you could have seen, and yet the most that any of you seen was, was four, which is good. Uh, two is quite good, but only seen one for me as a witness causes me problems, okay? Because I then have to try and get out of you what you did see or what you didn't see. Okay? And what was actually here was that they're quite distinctive and they're quite big, but 
it just shows you in that second what you're taking in. Probably not very much. So that's why it's so important for us as crash investigators to get as much out of the scene, the physical evidence of the scene, because we know that sometimes witnesses are not the most reliable people ever. Some people are very good, some people know a lot, some people just don't know very much. So that's why it's important to get as much of the crucial evidence out of the scene that I possibly can, so I can put that to court and say, this person thinks they might have seen something, but in actual fact, they couldn't have. That was impossible for them to see that. And it's called rationalisation. Mr. Bowles there with a beatable time. Mr. Bowles, Mr. Bowles is there. You press the green button. Yeah. The light starts flashing. You've got to keep your hand over the green button. When the light will suddenly go solid, press the red button. It turns the time. We'll take it out of the time. Have you got your booklet? Yeah, you'll get those, you've got some period. I think if we can do that first. That's quick. For an old man, it's not bad, eh? What was the time? No, you won't win. Can I not quit when I'm at head? <laughs> you're taking averages of time. No, I didn't, because we didn't um, before and I kept getting sixes. Did I? 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 So, I'm actually the top teacher at the moment. Yeah. One. find out who you are and uh, find out what we've been doing prior to the crash 
and uh, the people can go about uh, for that. So just make sure you keep yourself safe out there when you're driving later in life. Okay, okay. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody who's been here helping out, so it's Spectre Hewitson, uh, Mr. Steele, um, okay, so if we can give them a round of applause. For you.